Hi guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for the weekly update. And today's tip is actually going to be about how to post a listing from command or even just finding the listing on command and then post over on Facebook. All right, so a lot of people will definitely want to post down on Facebook, especially if you have a new listing, an open house, you know, anything of that sort, just to kind of get as much exposure as possible. So a couple things you can first do. First thing first, if you want to post directly from command before you even get started, Make sure you click on your name at the top right and select the settings section. All right, you want to make sure that your Facebook page is linked up so you can actually post. All right, once I click on settings on here, it'll take me directly to my connected applications. And what we'll want to look for is the Facebook post scheduling option. As long as that is connected on here, as we can see it's connected, we are good to go. If not, it'll actually give you the option, similar as we're seeing for Twitter on here, to connect the account so you can link up your Facebook account immediately. All right, now once you have your Facebook account linked on here, the next thing to do is obviously find what you're going to post. So in this case, we're going to talk about a listing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hop over to my website. So I'm on my command site on here. And then I'm just going to search for whatever listing it might be. So I'm going to use my current location on here just to find nearby homes. All right. And of course, you can always go through and you can actually search for anything you might be looking for. And then this will give you a section where you can actually go by, obviously, the neighborhood location too, just to help out on here. All right. So I'm going to say that this is my listing that I want to post. All right. So I'm going to click on my listing on here to pull it up real quick. And once we do that, this is going to give us the URL that we can actually copy and paste to add over to Facebook directly. All right, now once we actually copy this, whenever someone clicks on it, it's going to take them directly back over to our site so then they can view this listing immediately with all the different description. All right, so I'm going to copy that real quick. Now all that we'll need to do is go back over to our command backend. All right, and now we're going to click on the campaigns option over here on the left hand side. This is where we can actually access all the different campaigns available, including the social media option to post out. Now, once we click on that, we'll be able to see all of our connected channels. So if you do happen to have Facebook or even Twitter connected on here, you can post to either one immediately. All we'll need to do on here, though, is just click the Create a New Campaign option at the top right. All right, and then I'm going to select Social Post on here. All right, so right where it says choose a campaign, sorry, choose a campaign type, I'm going to select social posts. Perfect. Now, once we do that, it's going to guide us through how we can actually post this out. So on here, I can actually put inside the text that I want to display. So here's the URL that I may want to display on it. And then, of course, I can go through, and if you notice, we have 2,200 characters we can utilize on Facebook. On it, or Sorry, on Twitter, it's going to be 280 characters you can use. All right, but in this case, I can actually go through and tweak anything I want to. All right, so I'm going to add inside, and more than likely, you might already have some of this information on here. I'm going to add in a couple sentences from the property description, nothing too, too crazy. All right, now with that being said, you can also click on the emoji option over here if you want to add inside any additional emojis. All right, so completely up to you if you want to add that in right away. Now, you don't have to put, obviously, this URL over here inside the text section. There's also an add link option where you can add this in immediately, too. All right, and that way it'll automatically pop up where it's going to have a clickable link on here for you to utilize. All right, now completely up to you in this case. Uh, as you can see, it's not pulling up the actual image, though, so that's why sometimes I, I do like to actually go through and just add it inside the body on here, and then I can actually upload my own photo, if I want to, of the property instead. All right, now once we're actually going through, we have our text set up, and of course, then you can add inside some hashtags on here. All right, completely up to you. All right, but then we can actually go through, we can add inside a DBA logo if we want to. We can actually add inside our ownership statement on here as well. All right, and then if you notice, we can actually schedule the post or we can publish it immediately. So if I publish it immediately, it'll automatically go out to the page that I have linked up from command. All right, so that is one option to get this out right away. And I can just click on publish immediately to update that too. All right, and over here, I'm gonna save this image real quick. Perfect. And I'm gonna add this in as well. Now, once again, like I always like to say, you know, you don't have to do it this way. You can always go through the add a link option. I'm just gonna do this to add inside that. Oh, it didn't pop up, that's okay. 
Well, there's some headshots I need to delete on here. All right, but you can always go in over here to add inside, obviously, the link as well directly. All right, so I'm going to try this one more time. Save image as. Did it save as a... Yep, thought it might have. Perfect. So let's change this real quick. Awesome. And we're going to change it to JPEG. Perfect. Thank you. All right, so now I can add this in real quick. Perfect. Now I can resize it. Awesome. I'm going to work on here. All right, now all I have to do on here is then just go through and either schedule a post or publish immediately. And once I click on publish post up here, it'll publish right away. And of course, I can always click on create another if I want to create another piece immediately. But that's how simple it is to actually just post a listing out over on your Facebook page. And it's completely free to utilize on here, too. Now, this is one way to actually do it from command directly. Or, of course, if we wanted to, I can copy this. We can also go to our Facebook page directly. So right when we're on our Facebook page on here, we can actually paste inside whatever it is we're trying to actually publish. All right, and then once again, we can go through and do pretty much the exact same option. We can go through, we can add inside images. So there's a photo option. We can post this out. All right, completely up to you on here. All right. Now, one thing to note, though, the scheduling option is not available on here. All right, you would want to go under the Publishing Tools section to actually update that right away, too. All right, but that is another way to actually publish it directly over to your Facebook page. All right, and that's all we have to do. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.